Hello, my name is Shadriel. Welcome back to another episode of Victoria 3 as Argentina. In previous episode, we finally unlocked the trench infantry, and now we're building up a little bit more troops. I was having a look at a little bit uh, after or before starting this recording session that the Brazilians do have quite a large army, so we need to expand our military a lot if we want to be able to fight them. Pro Bolivia does have a decent army, but they're not massive. So that's at least one of the things that we're going to be doing today. Another thing that I think it's a... Uh, well, there's a few things that we're going to do, actually. First of all, we're going to get rid of this uh, railway company. It is not really worth it. But what we can do is we can um, either get the paper one for extra bureaucracy. That's 10% extra, which is actually pretty decent. As a matter of fact, yeah, we'll go for that one. And I'm sure that that will be a lot better productivity, so that will actually give us the bonuses. Which will be quite nice. But another thing, I've been complaining about the lack of uh, authority. And uh, I think it's time to just increase the government wages a little bit. That will give us just enough uh, authority to increase a tax here. We can put the porcelain tax, so that's going to give us a little bit of profit, but that doesn't leave us with a lot of extra, mind you. But let's have a look how much of an impact is uh, those two things going to have on the GDP. Well, it is slowly growing again. Or well, we've been growing for a while, admittedly. But we're currently building a bit more barracks, then we'll build a few buildings but I might actually go ahead and extend the armies a little bit especially the second army it doesn't have any contrips yet so let's go ahead and get like I don't know five over there at least uh, you know we'll get ten infantry and we'll get uh, five artillery as well so there we go we can have a little bit further at least uh, so how much of that is now 15 contrips if I'm not mistaken yes yeah, 15 we could probably go ahead and you know we'll get a little bit of uh, extra infantry That'll be fine. So that will be an extra 20 in there. So that will be 40 battalions if we activate everything. I don't know if the general can uh, then command everything. But we can figure that out later. And then uh, the main army. It's got 20 contrips right now. I think we might get uh, another 5 infantry. And we'll also get another 5 artillery. So that gives us 50 extra battalions for a fight. We've got 50 battalions uh, now regulars. I think what we will do is also just go ahead and extend, especially this army, a little bit larger. We'll go ahead and get another five infantry, probably in the capital. And then we'll go ahead and get uh, five, um, you know, we'll just get ten infantry, actually. Britain is colonizing more in Africa. Now, to be fair, we do have a colony over here in the Africa. It's not spreading very quickly yet, but it is spreading. And we're getting a little bit more stuff in here. Did I... I did put in the mechanized looms in here already before the start. So that will allow us to have a bit more workers in all the industries in here. And the Congo is already two and a half million in GDP. So all the estate in here is so it's a pretty decent amount actually. We might be getting the compulsory primary school soon, at least hopefully we will. And that will allow us to pass some more laws. Uh, standard of living is now twelve point nine, that's the highest that we've had it thus far. I'm sure that once we get the primary school and all that, that's going to start improving the literature rate even further. And that'll be really good. We're also going to be getting the pneumatic tools in uh, four to seven weeks. So probably in about a month and a half, we'll have that. And that will start uh, allowing us to maybe discover the resources in here. And I believe we had some other states. Uh, this one's got discoverable resources. This one's got dis discoverable resources. Oh. Britain is colonizing Botswana again. I think they might have had a battle in there. Or like a bit of war previously. Well, there we go. The GDP is growing. And of course the private sector is building a lot of industries. Which is good. Uh, unfortunately we can't increase the construction speed too much. Because the investment pool is almost empty. But I'm expecting that the once the new company that we have gets to 100 prosperity. We'll get the bureaucracy. We might then start doing actually the survey for the skyscraper, which will then allow us to get even more bureaucracy afterwards. So I suppose we'll go a little bit over the bureaucracy limit, but that's not too bad. And we did get the pneumatic tool, so let's... Uh, I don't know which one's going to start spreading next. But we'll start surveying the skyscraper site. It's going to cost us 500 bureaucracy, but that's honestly not that bad. We can live with that. It'll cost a little bit taxes, but it's actually... Honestly, not all that much. No, to be fair, 65 bureaucracy compared to what we total production have, uh, it's not really that much of a difference. I'll be honest. Ooh, rubber discover in Colombia. Okay. Unfortunately, not for us, but uh, I guess it's still in the market at least, so that's good. Oh, uh, the electrical capacitors is spreading. That's actually going to be really handy for saving us a workforce. 
especially in places with low population, which to be fair, there's not that many anymore. I suppose over here we could maybe try doing some saving uh, maneuvers to make sure that there's just a little bit of uh, extra workers to use, especially the oil rigs. We are getting some more workers in here soon. We're building the last level over there. And that's actually going to be another company that we could then possibly get. I think another thing that we might want to get is just the fruit industries over here. Get that to level 5, so that would actually unlock another company. Namely, it would be... Oh, is this one? Ah, okay. That would be a decent option, but that's not the one that we're looking for. Uh, it's the... Oh, there's the Compositor Primary School. Excellent. So, education investing can go up, but there's the food conglomerate. That would, uh, once we get to 100 uh, prosperity, that's 5% birth rate, which will allow us to increase our population very rapidly. Because we will need that manpower one way or the other. But there we are, almost 26 billion GDP already, so that's uh, going up fairly quickly. The literary rate is also growing fairly well. Especially now that we've got that law passed, it's going to go up even faster. Uh, we can't change taxes and the intervention, or we can't change the economic law to Lassus Fair, for example. Now, to be fair, the investment pool wouldn't really have the support for that, unless, actually, I suppose the capitalists would invest more, so maybe it would be profitable, but we just don't have the industrialists in power right now. So that doesn't really help the situation. And the mass conscription does mean that we'll take more morale loss, which, well, it would allow us to have a lot more mobilized battalions. I don't think that's necessarily going to be better for us right now. So we'll just hold on to what we have there. Uh, electric bureaucrats, armed forces would oppose that. It's an intelligentsia would like that. Now, to be fair, the taxation capacity isn't too bad. You know what? We'll give it a try. I'm not entirely sure if we'll pass it, but we'll give it a try regardless. There's only 23% chance right now. And Congo is uh, going to get a motor industry in it there, and I suppose that will be required at least for the railway there. Among other things, I suppose. There's still quite a bit of um, jobs available in here, of course, but uh, I don't think it's going to be too big of an issue for us right now. Oh, we're all four are powerful again. All right, is that... Oh, all four of them are powerful. All right. I suppose that does mean that the government is relatively powerful, at least, if nothing else. Because it's got three um, interest groups and all powerful. We don't have that high legitimacy, to be fair. So did we, we did not increase the taxes. We increased the wages there. We put in the porcelain tax. Is that... Okay, opium tax is only 5 point... Okay, we'll go ahead and remove that one and put in the luxury furniture tax instead. That'll save us a bit of money. We only got 1 million in gold reserves, which if we start fighting against uh, Brazil, it won't be enough, I'm afraid. But we still need to increase our military size a decent bit anyway. Luckily, that will go fairly quickly. But once we get to, like, at least 60 regular battalions and we'll have 50... Contrips, that's probably going to be enough to at least inflict a lot of casualties on the enemy, if not enough to push them back completely. And I do wonder, actually, if we have a look at, say, this army, how good of uh, stats do we have in here? Okay, we've got 50... Somewhere between 51 and 56 defensiveness, mostly, on the trench infantry. There's, artillery doesn't have quite as good defensiveness, but it does inflict a lot of casualties. We've got a few lancers, which... Don't really have that great stats, but it's okay. Although, frankly, at this point, we could probably just get rid of a lot of the cavalry and start focusing more on infantry. It would probably be a bit cheaper for us, even. Well, not necessarily massively, but a little bit. And I think we might be hitting 13 standard of living soon. GDP is already 26.3 million. Uh, I think what we might want to do also, before we start doing any sort of wars, is improve relations. Uh, we can't improve relations with Chile or Bolivia. Maybe... Oh, it's Bandari Entire. Right, so that's no longer Uruguay. But at least not going with that name. Um, I think another one that we might want to improve relations with is France, just to be on the safe side, and maybe Russia. It's going to be a little bit expensive. Oh, we can still improve relations with, let's see, Austria-Hungary. We've got a bit of colonies neighboring them, or their colonies at least, so we might want to keep a good relation so they don't try to take over mine. There we go, law progress to study, so we are getting the elected progress at least going forward. Now, whether we'll actually manage to get much out of it or not remains to be seen. Oh, there we go, civilized admission. Uh, so that would allow us to invest more into the colonization or colonial affairs, but right now we don't have the bureaucracy for that. Uh, also, we don't have the bureaucracy to improve the education yet. Um, 
but that's all right. Let's have a look at the tech knowledge. So we know that the next one is going to be anarchism in here because that's the last tier four, or no, tier three actually, for the society techs. So let's get that one then. In military, we're getting the bolt action rifle, which will probably be done fairly swiftly. I mean, okay, six to ten months. It's not going to be directly helping our troops. Oh, populating the Americas. Argentina is a vast and fortunate land, though it is uh, sparsely populated. We must look beyond the seas, particularly to trouble Europe for potential settlers to work our fields and factories. Give me your type, your poor, your huddled masses. Populating the American Journal entry. And every incorporated state in South America gets, uh, coming to America, 25% more migration extraction. Alright then, sure, I'll, be, I'll, I'll take that. The populated the Americas. Uh, South America and Europe already said have met our target population. Oh, target population. Oh, hold on a minute. 13 million. We currently have 8. Uh, well, almost 8.3 million. So that's going to be a decent increase in the population. I think we can probably manage that. I mean, we've got fairly good uh, health care. It could be better, mind you, but it's okay right now. And I'm sure that if we can get some more mass... Uh, uh, immigration is happening again, then that will uh, increase the population a lot further. Now, I suppose another thing that we will need to do for the uh, war against... Uh, let's actually go ahead and promote this Commodore. Get more command limit. And then we'll go ahead and get ourselves a bit more ships. Now, we built ourselves a, quite a few light ships. I think what we'll do is we'll build another two... Let's go ahead and get two more monitors. And then we shall get three ironclads. So we'll get to 25 ships. It's not a huge amount of fleet, and it's actually less than what uh, Brazil has, but I suspect that we might actually have a slightly better fleet overall. They've got, well, they got torpedo boats and ironclads, so it's actually not necessarily the case. But if we can at least uh, challenge them at some point, that would be nice. Plus, it does give us a bit more prestige and all that, so how far away in prestige are we from them? Uh, we are, oh, that is 130 points behind them. It's actually surprisingly far, though. Although we are surpassing uh, Netherlands, possibly, in the not-too-distant future, at least. Still losing a little bit of money, but again, the uh, Skyscraper survey is underway. And then we'll start building the Skyscraper itself, and that will give us a lot more uh, bureaucracy. Among other things, so that will be quite handy. Getting another motor engine. Hold on, is this one... Oh, this is the Congo one. Right, okay, well, that's going to be another two weeks before it's done. But that, I think it's the... We didn't even start building that. It was the numerous sessions that we had in the... Uh, a few previous episodes that I think started building that and we just, you know, completed it. I'm going to go ahead and put the rotor valve engine in here. That will probably help a little bit. Plus, you know what, we can't actually do that. Never mind. But they'll probably start hiring a little bit of people. I don't think they need too much in there. But just get a little bit out of it. It would be pretty decent. We've got almost, uh, or close to 27 million GDP already. We're already number 15 worldwide. Let's actually have a look at the ledger for the GDP. So we've surpassed Egypt. Uh, we did surpass uh, Australia as well. Dutch East Indies is a bit above us though. So that might take a while. And Belgium's pretty far ahead. Brazil's got uh, 42 million. They're number 10 worldwide. So I don't think we're going to uh, get to Brazil's numbers quite yet. Ooh. Cajun migration from United States of America to Buenos Aires. All right then. Well, I mean, that's one way to get more population, I suppose. Okay, America's moving. I didn't realize they had that bad of a situation there, but sure. Ah, so the projection about 400,000 immigrants in here. All right then. Oh, well, there we go, the low progress of voting. Mass conscription uh, agitator appeared. Portugal colonized Gazembe. East Africa colonized Gazembe. Right, they've got a bit of a competition down here, do they? Somewhere. Meanwhile, we're just slowly getting a bit of a larger portion of Congo for ourselves. It might not be all that much in the end. We'll give it a go at least. Now, to be fair, we do need to kind of get the malaria prevention to do that effectively. We haven't been prioritizing that. I'm just going with whatever is spreading so that we can get more ticks faster. I suppose another thing that we could still do, of course, is just get more universities. Get another university level over here in our capital because it's going to be a huge population there. I suppose another thing that we could do... Uh, did we already get this one into... Right, that's part, uh, Argentina Patagonian already. That is Argentine. Latin and, and Guarani Solista. Okay, so that's not our provinces yet, to be fair. Uh, we could maybe get... 
know, we'll just go ahead and get a few more universes in here as well. That'll give us a lot more innovation. We can catch up in tech or get a bit of ahead of uh, our neighbors in tech at least. And that will definitely help. It will cost us a bit of uh, extra stuff, of course, but uh, we'll have to live with that. Ooh, public trader close. Oh, right, okay. That's one of the journal entries. I haven't... We've got quite a few journal entries in here, to be fair. Let's see. Development. War in the mud. Um, trading method streamlining. Streamlining. We haven't done got on that one yet from the... Uh, I don't actually remember which tech it is, but it's one of the military techs that unlocks that. That we haven't got yet. Uh, expand the rubber industry. Uh, we'd have to have five. And they would have it be well occupied. There's the expand power plants. The level five somewhere. We don't really have that huge demand for power yet is the problem. Congress of the desert. Oh. Right, we don't know all, all of uh, Patagonia yet. So that would be quite handy. That doesn't seem to time out at least. They got the hedge body stuff, but we haven't actually done a lot in there. Let's be honest. We haven't really been fighting. It was just, you know, get a bit of um, encouragement on some... Oh, mass immigration to Corrientes from South Italy. Okay. The South Italians moving in here. So I suppose the population is at least growing. So that's good. Now we're getting the food industries in our capital. That will get us to total five points. Right. Um, if you see or hear a bit of a change in music, it's uh, because uh, I've decided to give up on the music player in-game. For some reason, it just keeps repeating same songs over and over again. Or sometimes it just stops uh, playing music altogether, although that might be user error this time around. Uh, but uh, it's just it's uh, getting a bit annoying, so I've just got the both the Victoria 2 and Victoria 3 musics on a playlist now playing. And it's uh, not necessarily going to be fitting the what we're doing in-game at all times, but it's hopefully going to be less repeating the same song over and over again. Oh, there we go. Number 10 in prestige. Gold depleted in Guyana. All right, then. And elected bureaucrats. That might actually pass. No, it won't pass yet. An ultimatum. All forecasts issue a stern ultimatum to Rodrigo Nazar about towing the party line on the proposal for elected bureaucrats. Nazar is determined to resist. Who is that, anyway? It's a vanguardist. Charismatic firebrand. Supposed to say an act councillor properly. Ah, okay. Well, we'll see if my... No, the gamble didn't quite work out. Well, I was hoping to get a little bit more support for the law. But, you know, we've already gotten to the last uh, stage without getting any setbacks or any really bad events either. So I guess there's hope, at least. Well, five to eight weeks for the bolt action rifle. Ooh, there we go. There's uh, another soulful mine being built. Presumably for the private sector. Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah, that's in Mendoza. They're going to get some more arts academies, motor industries, paper mills. So the private sector is building a lot of industries now, which is definitely good to see. I think another one that we might want to do is just get a little bit more um, government administration in our capital, because that's going to have the skyscraper site anyway. So we'll go ahead and uh, try to prioritize building a little bit more of that and start uh, taking down some of the unrealized taxes. Now, to be fair, as soon as the skyscraper survey is done, it will get the 500 to uh, bureaucracy back, which, you know, that will give us plenty of extra. But it might take a time before we get to that point. There we go. More groceries. And we're still making pretty good profit in here, so that's definitely good news. And I'm guessing all three companies... Yes, all three companies are on the max uh, prosperity. So what I'm getting, uh, I suppose, in the society, we could potentially get uh, some more stuff to, like, the corporate uh, governance, which would give us a bit more... or well, another company to have. Uh, right, I wonder what's going to start spreading in the military now that we've got the bolt-action rifle, because I suppose the destroyer would be quite handy to have. Definitely not the only thing, of course, but that would be... Oh, oh, automatic machine guns now. Don't mind if I do. That's going to be really effective on uh, killing, I suppose. Wait a minute, so what's this then? Oh, Marina is getting attacked. And then... Um, North German Federation wants to take uh, Austro-Hungarian Congo. And then there's uh, Transvaal's having another socialist revolt. All right, then. So a lot of fighting going on around me. Luckily, I'm... Oh, there we go. We're suddenly getting a lot more bureaucracy. Which means that we're actually making a lot of money. Spain sides with Marina Kingdom. Russia sides with Austro-Hungary. A lot of fighting going on. Oh, a lot of uh, diplomatic plays happening in there. So I suppose now that we've got 60 battalions, 
It's probably not, it's definitely not enough to fight Brazil. Not alone, anyway. But we might start planning on fighting against Paraguay soon enough. Now, there is always a risk that uh, since they do have defensive back with Brazil, they would join in. So I would have to get someone like Peru Bolivia to help me just to get the numbers a bit more even. Because, um, oh, uh, there is a uh, common cost. Seeking to discredit Santiago Godoy, uh, the leader of the Intelligentsia, by the looks of it. During a speech of elected bureaucrats, a heckler inspired by Rafael Arauz uh, inquired about bread prices. Uh, Santiago as a nearby grocer. Okay, we can get more loyalists. A 5% uh, success chance. Or we get 10%. You know what? I want to have more loyalists. And the 5% chance will at least uh, give us a bit better chance of uh, completing thing. There's the... Well, it's about equal on stall and success right now. So that's a bit bad. But there's 15% chance of advance and 36% chance of uh, debate. Which can go either way, to be fair. Oh, but there we go. Now we're making pretty good money. Is that uh, investment port? It is over half a million now. It's still fairly small overall. But it's growing. We are almost at 27 million GDP. Now, to be fair, I've been focusing a lot on military build-up and all that, so the GDP won't really grow too much from there. A little bit it will, but not a lot, mind you. And actually, now that we've got a decent bit of extra money, if we were to increase the military wages, we could get some more prestige, actually. That's not a bad idea. We'll still keep on building up a little bit gold reserves. But now we got uh, 466 prestige. If we have a look at the prestige situation again. So we have surpassed Netherlands easily. We're trying to catch up to Belgium. Sardinia Piedmont is uh, quite a bit higher there. But we've still got about 100 points uh, to catch up with Brazil. Now to be fair, our population is already at 10 million. So that is going up fairly nicely. We're going to be getting a bit more universities soon. Which will start increasing the innovation a lot further. Uh, we've got still five more of them being built. And then we'll get the government administration. I think after that it might be time to build some more industries real quick. The question is of course, what do we actually need? I mean, motor industries is always uh, quite profitable. So we'll get another level for that. Although it's not really profitable there. Let's actually have a look. Is there any better places for it? If we sort by earnings. Okay, Chaka could be quite a useful option. Cool. Get one in there. Oh, uh, looks like there's a uprising in Congo. Hopefully it doesn't interfere with our expansion. It doesn't seem to. Uh, we don't have... Well, we do actually have a little bit unemployed over here in Bas Congo, but it's um, not a huge amount. There's quite a bit of uh, jobs still available, but a lot of these things might not be that profitable, so they're not hiring more. I don't suppose there's... No, there's not really much I can do on the fishing side of things. The rubber plantation is... Making a pretty good profit, actually. I might go ahead and build another rubber plantation in there. Now, could we just pass the electric burgers, please? No. An ultimatum, again. I mean, I guess we'll do another gamble. No. I think the rule folk is probably getting stronger and stronger. Intelligentsia, not so much. So we're just losing more popularity in there. Now, we've still got 23% chance of passing the law. So it, we may have stalled in here for a little while. Oh. Right, there's um, a bit of revolution in Central America. Right. <laughs> Nicaragua is having a revolution. Everyone's siding with Nicaragua. Here we have a look at this uh, diplomacy play in there. They've got, well, USA and Mexico are siding with them. Which does help them, of course. So, we've got the innovation already a little bit higher. It's already 105, but it's going to be going up to probably about 118 or something like that total. Well, at least very close to that. Now, of course, eventually we can go ahead and get the analytical philosophy department, but that requires the analytical philosophy, which we haven't started researching yet, and I don't know. It's probably somewhere around here. That's, it's all the way there. Okay, that's going to be pretty far away. I don't know if we'll reach that, seeing that we've got less than 30 years' time remaining now. But at least the GDP is growing. We've got a little bit deficit of uh, bureaucracy again, but it's not too huge of a demand there. And the skyscraper server is uh, soon completed. It's not quite yet done, but uh, it will be later this year when it's completed. And then we can start building the skyscraper in there. It's going to take a whole lot of time to build it. But at least we can do it. And we're still number 21 worldwide in total population. But standard living has grown to 13, which is honestly not bad. Now, to be fair, we are technically speaking only 34 worldwide, but we've got a fairly good population. 
Um, I mean, actually, let's have a look. Ledger, is that not a living? Um, there are actually quite a few that are even larger, but they are much more industrialized uh, nations. Patagonia, Great Eruption. Ooh, that's 14,000 for five years. That is a bit expensive. But we will do it. It's actually not quite as much. Oh, no, there we are. Okay, well, one thing that we could do is just increase the taxes. Cover for that. For now, at least. Raising concerns. Oh, it's with intelligentsia and industrialists. Uh, I think... Oh, I don't want them to lose political strength right now while passing the law. But at the same time, I don't want to lose the bonuses from... Well, actually, that can go up to 8 or down to 8. So we could probably do that, actually, for now. Then hopefully we can pass the law so that will reduce the bureaucracy use a little bit because of the population. Which would be quite handy. Because we will have a whole lot more bureaucracy available very shortly. Oh, there we are. Wow, yeah, that's 150 bureaucracy extra now. Well, I guess what we could do is start increasing this with the institution. So it's 78 points per level. Um, we are going to get a whole lot more soon. enough. We'll definitely increase the education. And that's always a good one. And maybe we could increase the colonial affairs as well. And that's basically the two, other than the um, um, law enforcement, of course. That's pretty much the only two that we can really increase right now. Electrical capacity is going to be done very shortly. And honestly, that's going to be pretty decent. And is that... No, there's still more, two more universities about to build. One of them is probably still hiring as well. Actually, how many... We did build some extras in... No, it wasn't that many in here. It was mostly in Corrientes, actually. So yeah, they probably... No, they've already fully hired, actually. Well, regardless, it's going to be increasing quite nicely. 27.5 million now, GDP. So we're 15 worldwide. Actually, we've been 15 worldwide for a while, to be fair. And the standard of living did drop a tiny bit, but it's not too significant drop yet. Oh, there we go. Electrical capacity has done. So, electric sewing machines for textile mills. Automatic power looms for textile mills. Prime electrolysis for explosive factory. And then unlocks the, some no, new technologies. Over here, we'll probably want to go for the prime electrolysis, at least to start using a bit more power, because we've got plenty of power available. Uh, similarly, similarly uh, do we have... Where do we have textile mills? Got one over here at least. So what we could do is we could probably go with the electric sewing machines at least. That's going to increase the amount of production quite nicely. Potentially we could go for the automatic power looms as well. But we do have the workforce available. And over here we don't have any power production yet. That's actually something we might want to unlock in here. So we can start using that one a bit further. But there we are. That's a little bit better production. Do we have... Um, we do have a tech samples in here as well actually. There we are. The more production and conveyors are spreading. Okay. That'll be quite handy for uh, automation, I suppose. Uh, assembly lines for various industries. Yeah, that'll save us a lot of workforce if need be. Right now, we do actually have the workforce. Partially because we don't have that huge growth in the industries right now. And we've been focusing a lot on uh, like increasing our innovation and increasing bureaucracy and everything else. So that it's uh, kind of limited in that regard. The uh, skyscraper server is almost done. It's a little bit longer. Wait, established colonial administration. Oh, we need to have two full states in there. Ah, and then we're going to make it a Congo. All right, then. You would be a puppet, and they would be taking care of their own stuff, so we wouldn't have to spend our construction capacity there. Could be handy. All right, then. So the university is uh, soon done as well. Let's well, wait for the skyscraper survey. That should be, like, within a month or so, it will be completed. Efficient agriculture. Uh, sure, we'll follow the advice. And skyscraper survey completed. We can lay the foundations. Right, there we are. So now contract a skyscraper in Buenos Aires. Uh, sure. We'll just go ahead and assign that to be built. It'll take some time, and it's going to take a decent bit of paper and all that, but it will increase the amount of bureaucracy available a lot. To be fair, we already have a whole lot of it available. Is there any more institutions that we could increase? Or maybe we could do a whole lot of trading, actually. Uh, is there any import routes for... No. <laughs> Never mind. Not buying automobiles, I suppose. Rubber is something that we might want to buy. Uh, Mexico, sure. Buy some from there. It will cost us a little bit for the trade routes. Not everything is going to cost us, but a lot of things will. I suppose we could also try exporting some of the stuff that we have a whole lot, like, uh, like the small arms. Except it seems like there's not going to be a huge amount of um, 
Market space is going to be a, a worth a lot. I guess that's better than nothing. I suppose we could try exporting some more liquor as well. Uh, there is a, a capitalist revolt, but I don't think that's necessarily a good idea to export there. Uh, Johor is at least one place that we could go and trade. And Transvaly Market would probably be a good one to sell some liquor into. But with that, we are unfortunately out of time for this episode. So if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, get the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. A lot next time. Bye bye.